Okay, we're working with Jack with no pulling techniques, okay? Jack. So you want to teach the dog heel and sit first. Good boy. And then when he starts pulling, Jack, you have come and sit. Good boy. Good boy. And then you want to treat within three seconds. Jack, heel. Okay, so when he pulls, no pulling. Okay, so you can walk into him to kind of pressure him from pulling. Good boy. You want him to walk behind you. Sit. Good boy. Um, you can have him follow you behind and not pass you. That'll, that slows him down. Good boy. So that's three ways. Jack, sit. Good boy. Come on, Jack. You can have him sit or down every time he pulls. Sit. Sit. Good boy. Down. Good boy. Down. Stay. Good boy. Okay, another non-pulling method is don't let the dog lead. Because when the dog leads, he's the pack leader, right? Come on. Good boy. Good boy. You can use words like wait, easy. And then you can communicate how to slow down, like step in front of him, say slow down. Use your body and pressure release system. Use your body to slow him down. Slow down. You can talk to him. You can use obstacles to get his attention off of pulling. Because if he's doing obstacles, but boy, good boy. Then his attention is on what he's doing and his feet and not pulling. Good boy, good boy. That's why Jelly's so good in obstacles, log walking. Another pressure release system, you can teach him back, back when he pulls, back, and then forward. Good dog. So when he's pulling, just have him go back, back. See, once he goes ahead of you, good boy, good boy. And you just need to, back, back. You just need to repeat it until he understands. Repeat the pattern, maybe 100 times, 200 times, however long it takes. Have him sit every time you stop, sit, jack, or down. Because it's submission position, he can't pull. Good boy. Down. Good boy. Stay. Good boy. Sit. Good boy. Down. Stay. Good boy. Jump. Stop. Sit. Good boy. And then go. Good boy. See, when he's good, he gets to go. Sit. When he's pulling, he stops and sits. Dog, stop and go. Jack, stop. Sit. Sit. As soon as he stops, go. Good boy. Stop. Good boy, go. Good boy. Good Jack. Good boy. Over. Over. Teach him to move away from you. Teach him over. And Jack, come. Come and sit. Good boy. And go. Good boy, come on. Come. Sit. Sit. And go. Good boy. So we're walking. And then you kind of move him into the object so he has to slow down. Or up. He can go up. See if he'll go up on this side. Good boy. Come on, Jack. Good boy. Come here, Jack. Come on. Come on, Jack. Jack, up. Come on, up. Jack, up. Good boy. Good boy, look at you. Good boy. Come on. Jack, up. Up. Good boy, sit. Good boy. That's okay, we didn't say. Okay, Jack. Let's go to the next one. Up. So you keep them busy, and they'll pull less, right? Come on. Good boy. Jack, come here, you missed one, here. Up. Come on, Jack, up. Good boy. Sit. Stay. The other thing you want to do is vary your speeds, okay? Because the more you keep the dog's mind going. Okay, sit. Good boy. Come. So you can jog or walk. Sit. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, another method, sit, is to use spray. Not up, just near him. Sit and uh, and walk next to a wall. Sit, so he can't go anywhere, and just spray in the air to slow him down. Good boy. The thing you can do is turn. Come on, Jack. Come on. 